Now, so far, we've created some blank pages. So we've got a home page, an about us page, picture gallery, blog, and contact us. And uh, if we click here, and click on where it says pages, all pages, these are the pages, you know, they're all blank at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to start adding some content. We're going to start adding modules. So let's start with the home page. So if I click on the home page here, what I can do is click where it says edit with the Divi builder and I'll build from scratch. So I start building. Now in this case, I want to insert what's called a full width header module. So it'll have a large picture across the top of the screen and also some text and maybe a button. So instead of accepting any of these defaults, I'm going to close this down by clicking here. And then I'm going to create a new section. But this time, instead of using the regular uh, section, I'm going to have a full width section. So I'll click here. So what you've got here are various full width modules. So as you can see, you can have things like sliders and what have you. In this case, I'm going to select this item here, which is the full width header. So if I click on here, you can see this is a mock-up of what we've got so far. There's just a sort of default colored background and some default text. So where it says title or your title goes here, if I delete that and type something else in, in this case I'll just uh, paste some information in, I'm going to have the words Experience Thailand. And I'm also going to type in a subheading. So if I click within here for the subtext or the subheading text rather, I can just paste some information in. So it's going to say Experience Thailand, the experience of a lifetime. If we go down, there's some other things we can do. Um, you can have a button. Notice there's two buttons. Um, for the time being, I'll just type in the word contact us. So in a minute, we're going to have to link this button to the contact us page. But for the time being, I'll just type in the word contact us. And sure enough, you can see that appears in the button there. Now, if we go down here, there's just some regular text we can type in. Um, I'll leave the default there just so you can see it for the time being. We might go and tidy that up later. But as you can see, it starts here and it's displayed here. So I'll leave that as it is. Now, if we scroll down, there's various other things we can do. I can insert an image. That image will be displayed here. But what I want to do in this case is click on where it says background. And I want to uh, customize the background. Now, you've got four little tabs here. This one is for solid color. This one here is for graded color. This one here is for pictures. And this one here is for videos. So in this case, I want to insert a uh, picture. So what I do is I click on the third one along. So I've selected that. I now click on this plus symbol to add a background image. And these are the various images in my um, media library. So let's click on, say, that one there. And if we just scroll down here a bit, we can see that's going to be inserted full size. So I'll say, OK, upload an image, click on that. And if I click here to save my changes, it's sort of done what we want, but it needs some work. Also, I've got this uh, blank section at the top, which I no longer require. So I can click here and get rid of that. So that just gives me my um, header section up here. Now, as you can see at the moment, it's not very tall, so I need to do some customization work here. So what I've got here is these controls here. So if I just move the mouse pointer over here, I can customize the module settings. So if I click here, we've already done this bit. So what I need to do is click on the design tab, the second tab along. And if we just sort of scroll down here, you've got options to do with layout and um, the scroll down icon and image and overlay and all sorts of things. But in this case, what I want to do is I want to go down to where it says sizing because I need to resize this. So if I click on the down arrow here, these are the various options. And you see, you'll see that some of them are set to auto. It's like the height is set to auto. You can see that? So if I just click along here and then drag along, that will now resize it to um, a thousand pixels. And if I click here, there you are, you've got a very dramatic picture at the top of the page. We can, of course, change this. So let's say I don't like that picture. I can go here. I can click on 
background. I can delete that picture and say let's add a different picture. So maybe something like that, that looks pretty dramatic. Let's click that one and click on upload an image. So there we are, if I just click here, we got a very dramatic opening to our website. So remember this is all about Thailand and that kind of epitomizes Thailand for most people. There are things that need changing, we're not there yet. So this really should be moved down because it's tucked up at the top. And also we can't actually see the text because we've got white text on a white background, which is never a good idea. So we've got to carry on customizing. So the way we do that is we move the mouse pointer here, we go and click here to customize these module settings. So what we'll do first is we'll move this down. Now that'll be in the design section here. And if we scroll down here, we've already adjusted the sizing. This time we'll adjust the spacing. Now you see here it says custom padding. If I click on this up arrow, and I'll just keep clicking on it. In fact, I'll just keep the mouse pressed down. So as you can see, this number is rising. So as this number goes up, this goes down. So I'll keep on doing this. I'll just click in, keep the mouse button pressed down. So there we do, that'll do. We'll have it displayed round about there. If I just click here, we can scroll down and see what that looks like. So we're kind of getting there. There's a lot of work to do still, but um, you know, it look kind of looks okay. We've got this huge, great picture and this text is kind of lost. So what I'd like to do is make this text bigger. How do I do that? Well, I go here, I go to the design tab now this first line of text where it says experience Thailand, that is what's called title text. You see here you've got text, so down here you'd have ordinary text. That first line is title text. So let's click on the down arrow here and let's look at the options. Notice it goes in as an H1, a header 1, important from an SEO point of view. And there's various things we can change, for instance the the title font. If you don't like the default one, you can click here and select something else. So I'll just select one at random. There you are, I've got that one there. We can uh, change other things like for instance the the font weight. So if I click there, let's click on heavy. So as you can see, ooh, a bit too much. Let's click on maybe just bold. Yeah, that kind of looks okay. So we'll change that. We can change the text alignment if we want to, I won't bother. We can change the text color. I'll leave it as white. Um, but we can also change the text size. So I can do that in three ways. I can just drag this along and it gets bigger or smaller. I can specify a number here or I can click here to make it bigger or smaller. So in this case, I'll just drag along and something like that kind of looks okay. Notice there are more subtle things you can change, so even things like the letter spacing. Let's change this to 1, and what that does, it puts an extra space in. In this case, I'm not going to do that, but sometimes, depending on your font, that can look very, very classy. As we go down here, there's other things we can do, like changing the title line height. We can put shadow effects in, so you can play around with these. But in this case, that will probably do. So if we just click outside, it's beginning to look better. We still can't read it. Don't worry, we'll sort that out in a minute. And maybe this text here might be a bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is go back here, click on Design, scroll down a bit. Last time we changed the title text. This time I'm going to change the ordinary text. So I'm just going to go down here and sort of see what, uh, what we can change. So let's try making it dark. So everything's sort of dark, you know, black on white. That wasn't such a good idea, it's still hard to read. So we'll go back to light again. Again, we can change shadow effects if we want to. And if we click outside, that's how it's now looking. So it's still pretty hard to read. So what we need to do is apply an overlay. And the way you do that is you click here. So we change the module settings. Go to the design tab click on overlay 
and from there we can uh, change different colors. So if I go for like solid black, then obviously that's way too much. But what I can do is I can click here and that allows me to adjust the intensity. So if I click here and drag down very slowly, can you see what's happening? So if I go down here, it's still hard to read. If I drag it up here a bit, maybe to there and click on the big green tick, all of a sudden it's easier to read. So if we scroll up and down, it's looking pretty good. Obviously we've got to insert a lot more content down the bottom here, but just for an opening sort of top of the page, that looks pretty dramatic and it's got sort of Thailand stamped all over it. We typed in the word contact us, but if we click on that, absolutely nothing happens at the moment. So what we want to do is basically link this uh, button to the contact us page. Now before we do anything, I need to go down here and save my changes. Now I want it so that when I click on the contact us button, it's the equivalent of clicking up here, which will take us to the contact us page. So what I've got to do is click up here and that gives me the address, the URL of the contact us page. So I select that, press control C and that's now copy that into memory. So if I go back to the home page, I can simply click on where it says edit or rather enable visual builder. So now what I need to do is go in and customize this button so I can add a link to the contact us page. So let's do that. I go here. So you can see here I typed in the text contact us and if we scroll down a little bit where it says link, you've got uh, two buttons actually, we're only using one but here I can type in a URL or paste in a URL for the first button. So I'll paste this uh, URL in, which is the URL that will point to the contact us page. If I save my changes, come down here, save the whole thing, then go up here and exit the Visual Builder. Now if I click on this uh, contact button, in fact, before I even click on it, keep your eye down the bottom here. If I move over it, you can see it's now got a link to the contact us page. If I click on that, sure enough, it takes us to the contact page, which is blank at the moment, but you get the idea. So that's how you insert a dramatic picture right at the beginning of your home page. Also, how you can link the button, the default button, to somewhere else, in this case, the uh, contact us page. What we now need to do is start creating content underneath here um, so that people can start exploring our website.